Hello, my name is Eddie and I work here at Link Electronics Incorporated. We would like to thank you for your interest in the HD3000. While I tell you about some of the functions of the HD3000, I'm going to be running some graphic jobs on the 3000 that will also show you some of the 3000 functions as I tell you about them. The HD3000 is a captioning encoder, decoder, redirects data, and graphics generator for both high definition and standard definition serial digital interface. It can use NTSC or PAL for its standard definition input and uses the most popular formats for high definition input including 1080i. The EIA 608 is the standard for captioning in standard definition video and the EIA 708 is the standard for captioning in high definition video. To encode caption means to embed captions for the hearing impaired into the video stream. For standard definition, the pedestal and amplitude can be adjusted for the insert encoded on line 21. For high definition, it will upconvert 608 to 708 standard captions and encode both 608 and 708 at the same time. Also for high definition, you can select different lines to encode on or disable the encoder for field 2. This would be done to accommodate certain high definition recorders. It can encode two channels of captioning for 708 and it can encode four channels of captioning, four channels of text, and SDS packets for 608 captioning standards. The HD3000 has three individual SDS packet menus for the following. Transmission Station Identification, Copy Generation Management System, and Parental Guidance Ratings. The latest version will also VGA monitor the most popular SDS packets. Encoding of captions can be done in two ways. The first and most popular way is live captioning or software captioning through the communications port or by an optional modem. The second way is to load and run a caption file onto the HD3000. Doing this makes it a standalone encoder, meaning that no communication from another PC or another device is required to make it encode. It reads and encodes the most popular type of caption files that are used today. These files can be loaded by server, floppy drive, or by USB drive. <coughs> it can monitor captions on the VGA monitor through the software, or it can decode captions. By decode, I mean to burn open captions onto the video. Open captions are usually white characters with a back background. The open caption background opacity can be set to zero and can put an outline around the characters of the captions, making the captions look like subtitles. Let me show you what I mean. This is how open caption normally look. But with the HD3000, open captions can be made to look like subtitles, like this. It will do this for one of four channels of 608 captions or for two of 708 captions. It can be set up to redirect captioning data. By redirecting data, I mean to take captioning data and send it out one of its COM ports. Redirecting of data is usually done for one of two reasons. One reason would be to control another encoder. This way you can encode two video streams at once. The other reason would be to capture captioning data on another PC and then be able to edit that data. They can redirect data in three different ways. The first way is that all the data coming in one COM port goes right out the other COM port. The second way is that captioning data that is being encoded is sent out the COM port. The third way is that captioning data that is already on the video stream is sent out the COM port. It has two independently controllable COM ports. This means both COM ports can have data going in or out of them separately. There is a menu for each COM port that controls them individually. It also has software that can be re re it also has software that can be run remotely. So through the Ethernet, you can control the HD3000 from a different location. This is a screen capture of the HD3000 software. With this software, you can control multiple units in the same window. As you can see, the HD3000 does more than just captioning. It has a versatile graphics generator built into it. The graphics generator can burn images onto the video and uses 16 million colors, including transparent and semi-transparent colors. Like this picture of our NA booth, 
The graphics generator can plot graphics anywhere on the screen, as you can see. You can also control the fade in and fade out time of graphics, like we're showing here. The graphics generator can also be used for subtitles. Subtitles usually appear at the bottom of the screen. Subtitles are usually used for language translation, but subtitles can also appear at the top of the screen, depending on where the action is. Subtitle jobs can be made through subtitle software, or you can make them yourself. The graphics generator can be used to burn graphics into video like these TV ratings. And this is the same rating done different ways. The graphics generator can also be used for animations like these. This is not a video, it is an actual animation. Here at Link Electronics, we would like to thank you for your interest in the HG3000. Hopefully this video has been useful to you.